is Sarah and I've lived in San Jose, Costa Rica for a whole month now. So today I kind of wanted to bring you on a journey of some of my favorite things to do here while you visit. So let's come along. The first stop we're at right now, this is called La Feria Verde. And all of this stuff here is sustainable, it's locally produced, and it's freaking delicious. So what's really cool about this place is they have like all types of locally produced items, whether it be soap, we have like jewelry right over here. They have live music. It happens every Saturday uh, until 12 noon. But my favorite place is right over here. This one right here. It's called Haza Amaria. My favorite thing here is the Coco Chai. I just got my Choco Chai. It has a cute little heart in it. And the cool thing I love about this place in particular is all the mugs are uh, reusable. So they don't actually give you anything that can be thrown away. Kind of shows the sustainability in this whole fair. But let's go look at around because I want to show you some of the other places I really like here. This place called Piera Viva serves the most epic breakfast foods. If you come here, get the gallos. It's like huevos rancheros and it's so tasty, so flavorful. It's kind of like in a cool atmosphere too. You're in the trees. Just an awesome place. I'll link below where this is in the video description so you can come here. Remember, it's only on Saturday mornings until noon. Okay? I'm gonna enjoy this now. I'll see you at the next spot. Okay, our next stop is Avenida Central, where you can find all the shopping, all the stores. There's live music like this. It's super exciting, bustling vibe. Oh my gosh, it's so funny to me because all the stores are competing for customers and they have guys out there that are just like hyping the crowd and then they have music, it's like a club. I've never seen this in other countries. I feel like they do this a lot in Central America. Is that true, Louis? Deals, deals, everyone get the deals. But my favorite place here is actually right here. It's El Mercado Central. And here you can get incredible food. This is where all the locals go. There's a giant grocery store. So let's go in there right now. Literally, you can buy everything here from bags to clothes to uh, kitchen supplies. They have an awesome grocery market. You can get fresh fish, great food, beef vegetables, like everything. But the real reason I like it is because of the restaurants. So you just literally come and sit down and they serve you food. Some of the best food in the city is here. Best deal ever. You can get a full meal for $4 and live music. We got uh, guanabana juice, like a giant fruit that looks humongous, but it's so sweet and tasty. So if you've never had guanabana juice, definitely recommend it. And Louis, what did you get? I got a tortilla. Uh, yeah, with tortilla. Beef. Tortilla with con carne. carne. Yeah. All right, we're on our way to the next spot, but I wanted to talk about Parque Central because this is where Central America declared independence from Spain in 1821. And there's a really cool sign right here that you can take a picture with. Okay, take my picture. All right, our next stop is the National Museum of Costa Rica. I really like this place because it tells a lot about the history, literally from the beginnings of time till present day. It's also in an old fortress, so you can actually tour the fortress. They also talk a lot about wildlife. I mean, Costa Rica is one of the most biodiverse countries in the planet. Uh, it actually only takes up 0.5% of the earth landscape wise, but has 5% of the biodiversity in the whole world. So this talks a little bit about that. They also have this crazy Star Wars looking thing outside in the front with one of these historical Las Bolas and that is literally a stone ball. They actually don't know what the significance of these are to this day, but they are thought to have led to chief's houses back thousands of years ago. And this is like something very Costa Rican. You'll see a lot of these in the museum and a lot of other cool things, so don't miss the museum when you're here. Now let's go to our final spot of the day and I will see you there.
For the best craft cocktails here in San Jose, go to 1948, which is a craft cocktail bar. It's actually San Jose's only craft cocktail bar that is run by mixologists. And the head bar manager here actually won 13th place for the best mixologist in the world in the competition last year. He's third in Latin America, so these cocktails are unreal. But what makes this place even more interesting is it used to be the president's house in the 50s. I've never heard of a bar that used to be a president's house. I mean, that is the coolest thing ever. Don't miss this place when you're here. Great atmosphere, great cocktails. This is drink number two, and it's freaking crazy. We got Mezcal, we got Don Julio, we have a tamarind infused agave syrup with rosemary, and then there is some uh, chipotle salt around the rim. They lit canela, and it's just served in this badass chalice. One of the best cocktails I've ever had. Yeah. I hope you liked it. Those are the coolest places here that I discovered in a month. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.